Okay, so we're still on um, pre-assembly work. I mean, this work should have been done a long time ago, but we're going to include it now anyway. And that is examination, you know. And um, you should examine all the all the teeth. Now these are in these are in perfect condition. Perfect. It'll be the originals, and they're in absolute perfect condition. There's no chips. They're not worn. I mean, it's quite remarkable. So these were um, very well made uh, gears and I could surface treat these to make them uh, frictionless but it's a major job and um, yeah, I don't have time, you know, and there's this shaft and then there's the other shaft and the other shafts is a right sod to um, dismantle with the, uh, with the captive circlips. Um, and because it's in such good condition, I'm not going to bother. Um, these, yeah, you can you can see. Hang on. Maybe you can see this. The signs of rubbing and and and, and dragging. Not bad. It's not bad. Um, they've all got some signs, and there is some sign of, of dragging. It's polished, but there's also some signs of dragging. And um, and these I can do with easy, easy. They're um, easy to do. And I'll also do the. Um, I've forgotten what the hell it's gonna. It's the gear change thing, which has got its own name, and uh, the name escapes me. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'll do that as well, and um, and so that. That should make the gear changes nice and uh, and slick. It's already it's already good. I mean, generally speaking, the problem with the gear change is only uh, when you're finding neutral, and that's down typically down to clutch drag uh, more than anything. If you get the the clutch well well adjusted, you can you can usually snick it into neutral, no problem. Um, so I'll do those and um, tidy them up. But yeah, the other the other cogs are are perfectly the same. I mean, if you've got chipped cogs. Then yeah, you know, you're gonna have to bite the bullet and change it, or you know, make a decision. But uh, these are in uh, in 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 perfect condition. Um, oh yeah, and the uh, hang on a second, I'll um, I'll just get the uh, yeah. So there's the crankshaft. It's got um, two stroke coil in in it uh, around. So so I'd. I'd Washed it off in in petrol and then uh, give it a good a good bathe in in petrol and um, and then dried it off and put it in a bag and added some uh, two stroke oil and then put a second bag on it because you know there's some sharpish edges and uh, I mean once it, once it's frozen down the oil will um, will turn sticky but uh, you don't want it leaking into your freezer um, it's already getting nice and cold so then when you Come out. That's ready now for assembly. That's going to be ready for um, assembly. All right. So I'll see you in a tick. Okay. So I've um, I've treated the shift cam, <laughs> and um, so it's now got non-stick molecules injected into the surface molecules of the metal, and. Um, yeah, let's hope that the gears don't slide through. <laughs> uh, I've done the, um, I've done these. It's quite hard to see. It's just, it's knocked off the shine slightly because it's now got trillions of tiny indentations 
and um, it's hardened it up and um, should yeah well, it's, it's going to be uh, it's going to be better um, and we'll be doing that to um, to a lot of um, a lot of the components, uh, piston and the uh, piston ring, and the barrel, and uh, and stuff like that. So, uh, but we'll look at those um, we'll look at those later on. But uh, having inspected all the um, components, everything's um, cleaned up and and ready to go. We can move on to the next phase. Okay, bye for now.